What is that? It is called Subzi. It's my favorite. Great. You eat it. Hazel, you are being very disrespectful right now. Come on, take a bite. What's it made of? Spinach. I don't like spinach. You will like my spinach. I'm allergic. Liar, you should have said that first. I know. Hey, so you cannot push me around like you do with your father and grandfather. Now, you will sit there until you eat it. I hope you don't have any plans for the rest of the day. I do not. Good. <laughs> Just so you know, I waited three years for a visa to come to this country. I am a very patient man. Oh! Are you hungry yet? Nope. I think you are. You look hungry. Once, Gandhi didn't eat for 21 days. I did a report on him. What score did you get? That's not important. <laughs> Don't you dare. Don't. You. Dare! <laughs> How dare you? Why do you care so much if I eat this? Because as your godfather, it is my job to make sure you become a good human being, Hazel. Isn't that my parents' job? Yes, but you can never have too many loving adults criticizing a child. <laughs> How will you ever learn to deal with the challenges and hardships of life? I have plenty of hardships. Like when the supermarket has no grape juice? <laughs> How about when my dad went to war? And I had to be brave and not cry so he wouldn't be sad. And then came home and he moved out again. You probably lived longer with him than I did. Right. Of course. All that time he was with me, he was not with you. Yeah. But he would want to be with you every day if he could. He didn't ask me to move into the garage. Why do you get to? Because, Hazel, that was the only bed that was offered to me when I came to this country. So I took it and I said thank you because I know how to be grateful for what I have. Well, I'm not. One day you will see that for the incredible luxury it is. Not today. Oh, I get it. You are very stubborn and always think you're right. Thank you.